San Francisco is a unique city, a beautiful city. But there's still an undercurrent and undertone to it. When you get outside and you walk in the cracks, you get to find out what's real. I think the youth in Oakland, just like in any other communities, need some guidance and some role models. It's not too many Bay Area players in college football and the NFL, so it's a unique bond. Especially when you have Bay Area men that come out of their area that are playing professionally, it's a good set. And these kids, they really look up to that. They see a lot of that. But with me being from here, they get to see somebody that actually did it from where they're from and for the team that they probably idolize. Beast mode! Beast mode! Beast mode! We got the beast mode now, baby! Beast mode! What has this meant to you to play for this team? Uh, just to play in Oakland is a dream come true or something like that. I've always admired Marshawn Lynch from afar. When he played for Seattle, I was aware that he was from Oakland and Cal Berkeley prior to that. And I'm happy he's with us. For the Oakland Raiders, and we got Beast Mode, baby, in the house! You think the Raiders are going to win the Super Bowl? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with Marshawn Lynch. Because <laughs> he's unstoppable. What do you love about Marshawn? That he never gets tackled and stuff, and that I want to be like him. Marshawn Lynch, he only played, he only played a year with us. We've had numerous ones come, they all didn't make pro, but you know, I feel proud when you go to that four year university and you get that degree that they can't take from you, hey, you successful. Up the middle! Dynamite's been here since 1961. Concerning parents wanting something done, you know, some kind of activities for their kids. And you know, who would have thought that it would still be around? She's the only girl, and initially I signed her, I came to bring her for cheerleading, but she didn't want to cheerlead, so she wanted to play football. And our uh, vice president at that time said, let her play. So I cleared it with my mom, and she's been here ever since. She's been here four years now. Are you better than the boys? Uh, some of them. Everything she does is exciting and new because you don't expect a girl to play football and to see her out there just really hanging out and running with the boys is it's just a really good feeling. It's like girl power. We teach a lot of life skills with our guys, not just focusing on the game of football. With our community, we need a different type of, uh, of teaching or coaching that, that we do at times. Hey, we want team, let's go! We have had, over the past decade, several San Francisco stars that could have been elite at any level, but they got killed or got lost to the streets. I played for the Warriors, San Francisco Warriors. My mom had paid for two of my friends to play with me, and they, they went into the streets. One of them got killed, and one of them in and out of juvenile now. I'm the only one I stuck with it. Come on, come on, let's go. Time we need to get out and warm up right now. The only reason I still play is for my dad. His daddy got murdered in a home evasion. That I had a girlfriend and her, I guess her, her baby daddy I got out of jail and he found out. She set him up and they did a home invasion. They came into our house and killed him. And before his daddy passed, his last word is don't give up on your dream. So I really appreciate that he did not give up on his dream and go to the streets and then he stayed in school. This is a lot of work. But he got picked to four colleges. So I just hope that he pick one and the football player take him so he could get that mentor and that structure and be strong and baby say, you know what? I did it, mama. Yesterday was the day that he got killed, September the 14th. 
Today I got a ball out for you. It's a griminess that they get, but that griminess is a goodness because they, they, they start from the bottom and when they do get the opportunity to make it out, they're a special player. The way we feel just about where we're from and why we represent where we're from so hard is because we know what the struggle is and, 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 and how we get down. A lot of these kids want to play football in college and probably professionally. It's a gateway to get out of certain environments for inner city youth. That's why we look up to our coaches now. They're our big brothers. They like the fathers to the ones that don't have fathers. Good job doing what you're doing, Robert. Life lessons you can learn playing football. If you don't succeed in something, try again. Because at some point, you're going to succeed. In life, you get knocked down, you have to get back up. In football, you get knocked down. You got to get back up to make the play. You know, this 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 more for like Oakland, though. I definitely think football is a bridge into athletes becoming better people within our society. It gives them a, a different sense of direction. If it wasn't for sports, I don't know where we'd be.